Hey guys, so I just filmed an update video and I told you guys in the update video that I was going to be doing uh, a couple of travel videos. So this video is going to be all about my toiletries bag and I have showed you, I actually filmed one of these before but it was for a weekend trip. I didn't, I don't ever, you know, maybe I did, I don't really remember. I don't recall filming one for a long trip um, but this is going to be pretty much just a what's in my travel toiletry bag. This toiletry bag is from Target. Let's just give a moment for how freaking adorable this is. I saw this in like the luggage area. They had this one and maybe a black with a red bow and maybe a light pink. I can't remember. They had a couple different colors, maybe blue. But of course I gravitated towards the pink one. This is like my favorite color of pink and it's Hello Kitty, duh. So this is really neat because it's hard plastic so this is awesome because some of the other bags that I have are like flimsy and if you have anything breakable in there or you know anything shatters it's going to come through period. I mean it's just especially if it's one of those that has mesh or anything like that. So when I saw this I think it was around $30 I, I knew I had to have it. Now the one downfall to this that I can say is because it's hardback it takes up room in your luggage and it's a little bit heavier than a regular just bag or if you were to use just Ziploc bags but I would rather travel cute than you know have practical use of things and it's also neat because in the back it has this um, elastic band and this is actually meant to go over your suitcase like the handle of your suitcase so that I can just sit there and you don't have to worry about carrying it unfortunately though because I traveled with full-size items I could not take this on the plane it had to be checked in so I didn't utilize this thing to go over my handle I actually just stuck it in my bag okay so it has two zippers and when you open it up I ended up packing if you can hear Maddie screaming it's because she's in there with Andres and she's just I think it's bedtime she's having a cow she's been pretty fussy lately so in here I have things kind of scattered it was a lot more organized when I traveled with it to begin with but on one side it has this like pouch that you can put things in and behind the pouch there's a zipper compartment that you can also put things in. To me this is not very practical because it, like if you have stuff in the front pouch there's no real room to go in the back so that doesn't really make much sense to me but I, it worked out just fine and then on the other side there's this mesh pouch which is great because nothing falls out. So I'm going to start with the heavy stuff before I get into the lighter stuff. So on this side I brought a full size shampoo and conditioner which was completely not necessary. I could have definitely traveled a bit lighter. Last time we went to Hawaii I actually took this brand. This is the Organics Brazilian Keratin Therapy Shampoo and I took the conditioner for our honeymoon and I took large sizes because on our honeymoon I feel like I wash my hair every day. Just to clear things up for our honeymoon we were in Hawaii for 10 days, 9 nights. This time we were in Hawaii for 9 days. Yeah, 9 days, 8 nights. We were there a few days shorter than what we were on our honeymoon. And I noticed because we only went in the water two times, I didn't wash my hair as much. So this is completely not necessary, um, but I did bring them anyway, the shampoo. And then this is the Organics uh, Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. And I have to say I really like both of these. In this pouch on the side, I also brought my Healthy Sexy Hair uh, Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. This was great for not only my hair, but for Emmy's hair as well. Her hair is very kinky and coarse and dry and brittle. And every time she went in the water, especially the ocean, not just the pool, it was like matted <laughs> horrible so I would spray this in the bottom of her braids and this would actually really help condition her hair and mine too I have one of these little travel containers that I picked up from Walmart it came in like a four pack with a clear baggie this is a uh, travel friendly three ounces I just have bioderma in here I mean as you can see I really didn't use that much because I didn't wear makeup every day like I thought it was going to and that's it that's on this side but maybe you guys can see a little bit better here like here's the front pouch and then there's this zipper pouch oh wait there's something in here there's a zipper pouch in the back but it's kind of like defeats the purpose you know what I'm saying this is the EOS shave cream pomegranate raspberry I really like this shave cream and when I found it in a travel size super sleek slim bottle I was excited and I use this quite a bit because I shaved every single day when I was there speaking of shave I have a disposable razor this is the Venus I want to say embrace I also have the up and up little container for my toothbrush and just a toothbrush in there. So now we're going to go on to this side. So this just unzips and 
This has a breathable mesh, so if you have stuff that is like wet, that gets wet, nothing gets mildewed or anything gross over here. So it's really nice, and also you can kind of see what you have. I have this thing stuffed to the rim. I have deodorant on the desk, has his deodorant too, but this is the Secret Clear Gel Scent Expressions Passion de, de Tango Scent. And I really like clear gel. I usually wear Dove, which is a solid, but I really like clear gel for trips where I know I'm gonna be wearing sleeveless the entire time, which I did. Hence why I got so much color. So this was great. It smelled really nice. It says it has 48 hour protection and honestly, I got that on my nose. Honestly, I was super impressed. Usually I like solid because I feel like it gives me more, um, you know, deodorant coverage for the entire day. But this one actually did really work. Like I would put it on in the morning and if I did not reapply it at night before I went to bed, the next day I could still smell it. Like not my armpit but you know I could still smell the fragrance in the vicinity and I felt like I was still protected. I took the uh, Kirkland Daily Daily Facial Daily Facial Towelettes. These are my favorite makeup remover wipes. I think I only have one or two left in this. So I took this with the idea that I was going to finish it and I didn't actually finish it. Hence why I brought another uh, L'Oreal Revitalift. I didn't use this at all. This totally did not need to go with me. But again, I thought I was going to be using makeup every day. Um, because of course on my honeymoon, I, used, I wore makeup every single day. Traveling with children is a lot different. Your priorities change drastically, especially when you have a sick child. So I ended up not utilizing this at all, but it wasn't that big of a deal. I got one of these little um, cotton rounds and accessory case. I can't remember if I got this from uh, Target, Walmart, in the travel area of something. And I just have cotton rounds in here. I actually had a bunch more. I had stuffed this thing full of cotton rounds. This was awesome because usually I let my cotton rounds just float around and they get dirty. So this was a great thing to have. I took a mini dry shampoo. This is the Oscar Blondie Volumizing Dry Shampoo. I don't like this dry shampoo, but I was going to bring it in case I needed it in a pinch. I took a full-size lotion because I wasn't sure exactly how much... I was going to need my skin tends to get really dry when I'm out in the sun a lot. So this is the Capri Seaside Citrus Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works. And I just shook it around so it's all over the bottle. But I did use probably about a quarter of this on the trip. I took three travel size of the uh, body washes with me from Bath & Body Works. Two pink chiffon and one mad about you. I also took just some travel cotton swabs. I've had this case for a really long time. This is awesome because it holds your Q-tips or cotton and swaps perfectly. I took my moisturizer. This is an awesome moisturizer because blah, 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 I feel like I can't even say stuff. Moisturizer because not only does it uh, control oil throughout the day, it has an SPF of 30. It's by Cetaphil. Um, once it's done, I have another moisturizer that I prefer, but summertime is awesome for this stuff. I took a sample of the Murad uh, exfoliating cleanser. I got this in one of my Sephora hauls. I used about half of it. It was nice. I actually really liked it. The particles are really fine in it and I felt like it didn't exfoliate too much to where it was like sloughing off my tan but it exfoliated enough to where I didn't have any dry patches. I have a little Hello Kitty container. My friend uh, Corey actually sent this to me from Japan but a little Hello Kitty travel container and this held my natural soap to scrub Maddie's bottles. While we were over there we took the disposable Playtex bottles and that tr kept the travel soap perfectly. I also took my little scrubber. I was going to take my Clarisonic but once I was figuring out quite quickly I had so much stuff in my suitcase. In fact our suitcases weighed mine actually was 62 pounds and the limit's 50 so I had to switch some stuff and put in my mom's suitcase. I was like oh I'm Gia and I packed really light. I only ended up, ended up having two outfits left over that I didn't wear. So once again I was going to take the Clarisonic and I figured out that's not going to work so I packed this thing which weighs like nothing. I took a baby toothpaste which is almost out. This worked out perfectly brushing our teeth twice a day both of us. It was just enough toothpaste no reason to take a bigger one. I took a little baby bio silk which was almost out I thought for sure I would end up using it but I didn't I actually never even straightened or curled my hair the entire time I was there I thought for sure I would have but I didn't and then last but not least this thing is empty I took some coral packets which I did end up using a bunch of I can hear Maddie's crying so I'm sure you guys can I'm really sorry about that yeah I ended up using like I had a fresh soy cleanser I had a clay mask from first aid beauty 
um, and just like another I use one of these Dr. Brandt do not age um, serums like I used a couple of different things of this just to kind of try some new things out I really like the Dr. Brandt serum I felt like it really nourished my face so that was everything that I took in my toiletries bag I really don't think I overdid it I could have you know used just taken one of these and probably just used the entire thing while I was there. I could have taken a baby lotion. Had I had a smaller one of these, I would have taken a smaller one, but unfortunately I didn't have one. The shampoos also, I probably could have got away with putting this shampoo in these bottles and been perfectly fine, but again, I wasn't sure. I didn't want to be stuck having to buy more shampoo or use the hotel, sh hotel shampoo, so I learned my lesson on that one. That was pretty much it. The only other thing was the facial wipes, but again, had I worn makeup every Every day I would have needed these. Other than that, I think I, I packed pretty decently and I used a good majority of things. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Look forward to the makeup that I took with me to Hawaii, my travel makeup bag, and um, what I actually ended up using because that I did really, really well on. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought and I will see you in my next one. Bye!